Yeah, good morning guys, and mine happened to our friends there in the Philippines. Guys, in this video today, I want to um, do a video and uh, revisit Boss Hogg's intro video. Um, what he said back on the 24th of the 7th, 2018, when he opened his YouTube channel. We're going to go through that, what he said back then, and what we actually know now. So he introduces himself and straight off the bat, he's opened a YouTube channel and uh, he wants to help foreigners who um, want to come to the Philippines and uh, start a new life and give them help and advice on how they can make a living in a foreign country. Uh, he said he was quite unhappy in the uh, USA and that's why he decided to move to the Philippines. Um, he then goes on to say that he's going to show you all the ups, downs, the uh, the profit and loss and everything that goes with life in the Philippines. At the beginning of the video he clearly states that he was 31 years in a successful business. Now at that particular time he was about not I imagine 57, 58. So he was in business for 31 years, you can work it out. Um, it couldn't have been a very successful business because shortly after he arrived, he had to leave, go back to the States to make money because he'd run out of money. However, on this intro, he did say 31 years, successful business. Um, and now, here he is in the Philippines to make another successful business and to give out advice. He then goes on to state that um, he has five hectares of land, which is in his partner, his partner's name. Not his wife then, Marcel, his partner's name. Now we'll stop for a bit there because he said it's in her name, her name is on the lease. What he didn't tell you was around about that time when he started his YouTube channel, he was uh, having a, for want of a better word, a uh, liaison, uh, this kind of secret affair with one young girl named Molly. He didn't put that in his intro when he opened his YouTube channel. And of course, what we know now, you're all aware of that. He had a child by Molly. So he didn't quite put, he wasn't very honest, let's put it that way, in his, uh, opening statement of his intro. He also went on to say that uh, on his YouTube channel, he hoped to help others to move to the Phils, the Philippines, and communicate with people on the channel. Well, are you sure, Brian? Because uh, the communications I've seen on your comment section of your channel are very few and far between. The standout ones are, um, I think you're a bit dumb saying that. Uh, are you right in the head, numb nuts? These are replies that he gives to his um, subscribers. Uh, 
Is the light on? Are you blind? These are the type of comments, the type of replies that this man gives to his subscribers. Now, if that's any kind of communication, then I'm afraid as far as um, I'm concerned, a lot of other people are concerned, that's not really the way to conduct yourself and have a successful YouTube channel. He then goes on to say that he wants to uh, convert some rice fields uh, to corn uh, to feed the, uh, the pigs and the chickens. And he wants to grow soya, although he did state he knows nothing about growing soya. Well, Brian, let's. That was back then, uh, here in the present day. You know nothing about growing corn either, because well, that was a failure. You know nothing about keeping pigs, because that was shut down by the um, animal welfare. And the chickens, the diseased chickens you have, well, I don't think you can sell them. You tend to give them away on the sly. So, to say that's what you want to do with your, with your um, small hold, I'm going to call it, because it's not a farm. That wasn't really... Uh, very honest of you was it but then you go on and you say my videos will be instructionable and i will be telling you how much i have invested in the land and my house in the philippines well you did see at one stage brian we know now these uh, three nearly four years later um, you said it was a, a million peso property <coughs> the Bahovel I don't think so I do not think so and you also said you would tell us about the real losses and real profits and that hopefully it would be help a help to people now let's get something straight here Brian knowing what we know now you've never made a profit so that's never helped anyone uh, losses oh yeah you shout from the tree tops about your losses and you then go on and say I'm not seeking any financial help from anyone well, the losses that you shout for, or you shout out, uh, that was a failure, that was a failure. It's all e-begging. E-begging on a daily basis on every video. And you, in your intro channel, says you're not looking for any financial help. That wasn't very true. That's not a true statement. That is not a true statement. Knowing what we know now. You then go on to say, uh, it's not my country. Correct. There are rules and regulations uh, that you have to adapt to and you can't change rules and regulations to suit yourself well um brian this statement was made four years ago you have broke every rule and every every regulation in the philippines so don't you think it's about time you change your intro video You also say that people who have had bad experiences uh, is a result of lack of research. Well, Brian, video after video, 
pigs, chickens, shrimp, tilapia, slapdash, supposed farming, feeling every time. No research went into that. No research went into that at all. So, as a uh, summary, a conclusion to this video, guys, I think it's quite fair to say, quite fair to say that, that intro of what he hoped for was a total failure. His dream never came true. He's living in a shithole. Everything he does turns to shit. Every project fails. There's nothing that anyone can gain info-wise from your channel, Brian. Not a thing. The only thing your channel is about is uploading videos and doing live streams and showing people the poverty that you're living in. So they will feel sorry for you and send you money. You are probably the worst farmer in the Philippines. You have no right to give instruction to anyone about farming in the Philippines because you are a total, total failure. And of course, as we all know, you can't fix stupid. But maybe, Brian, you can fix your intro because that is absolute total bullshit. So guys, um, having watched this video, in the comments below, if you feel like it, um, just give us your opinion. Was he a failure? Was he a success? Was he being honest? Or was he being dishonest? Till the next time guys, uh, please like, follow uh, this channel. We do not charge a centavo to subscribe keep your money in your pocket that's what this channel is about it's about keeping your money in your pocket and making you aware of the scammers out there bye for now